today i brought the new topic that is mbo good day students hope you are doing well today i brought the new topic that is mbo full form of it is management by objectives this same topic you will come across if you wish to do mba after your graduation that is masters in business administration same topic you will find there also so here if you cl clarify your doubt here if your fundamentals are clear here you will find it easy over there so let's begin with this topic mbo management by objective now first of all we will see the meaning of it mbo says here superior subordinate together jointly they come out with the common goal of organization now where the subordinates are made involved in coming out with the common objective of the organization so they are likely to fulfill their responsibility with great energy right so this is what the concept related where the superior subordinate jointly come out with the common goal of organization subordinates if they are involved in any process like decision or to come out with a planning or to come out with an objective they are strained wholeheartedly they they do hard work and they do see to it to achieve those objectives or the responsibility wasted to them let's move towards the definition of it it is proposed by george s odione who defines mbo as a process whereby superior subordinate jointly identify its common goal define each individual's major area of responsibility in terms of result expected of him and use these measures as guide for operating units and assessing the contribution of each of its members so it's basically setting up of the objective together by superior and subordinate and the uh, individual also knows their their area of responsibility and these are used as a measure to guide the each unit and assess the contribution by each members so this is the definition by george odioni if you do not able to mug up or to write the definition of mbo student you can have the meaning of it right now let's move towards the next slide which talks about the steps in M mbo process so it's basically coming out with the objective in a joint manner that is superior subordinate will come out with a common goal of organization and you jointly come out with a planning so to achieve the objective so here the steps of mbo will be similar as like how you have come across how you have come out with the steps in planning process so both are 90% are same both steps are 90% same let's see first one analysis of internal environment in order to come out with an objective of any organization organization must know what are their internal resources so internal environment basically talks about basically tells about your resources how many resources you have how much you have the resources with you so it's basically knowing about your hr knowing about the technology you are using to know about what management philosophy is what are the mission objectives aims strategies are there within your organization so it's basically analyzing your strength inside your business so internal environments basically talks about mission objective plans policies human resource financial resource physical resource etc after knowing it then it is needed to analyze your external environment too now what external environment consists of external means the environment which is immediately external to your business so external to your business could be like government policy like competitor like customers like economic condition education environment like international environment are external to your business right after analyzing both the environment then you collectively formulate goals for the organization now how your goals should be your objectives should be goals means objectives should be it should be like you have to come out with 
not only single goal but the goals for your key areas now student what you mean by key areas key areas are departments the functional department the departments so you have to come out with the goals for your own departments so there should not be single goal but there should be goals in the various departments various key areas now how your goal should be your goal should be smart smart in the sense student it do not only mere the word smart but it has a in depth meaning to it like let's see the expanded form of it s m a r t talk talks about s stand for specific m stand for measurable a stands for achievable r stand for realistic and time bound so my objective should be smart specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound is that clear so we have seen we have made the goals for our key areas and also it should be smart next one collectively formulating plans now in order to achieve the goals in order to accomplish the goals you should have plans with you now again i am talking about plans not a single plan but plans plans means alternative plans means you should not have one plan but you should have the alternative plan this is because in case if one plan is not feasible to apply you should have in stand by the other plans too right so here we have collectively formulated the plans collectively means jointly superior subordinate jointly coming out with the goals superior subordinate coming out with the plans so here you can use the word jointly or collectively means both parties superior subordinate coming out with common goals and plans now we have lot many plans that is alternative plans all plans to apply are not feasible are not possible because resources are limited so here we have to evaluate the alternate plans evaluating alternate plans will tell will tell me which plan is important which plan is feasible to apply right so it will tell me the best plan to apply so evaluating alternative plan means you can evaluate by applying cost benefit ratio the plan which is having less cost having lot many benefits that plan i will select so basically evaluating with the help of cost benefit ratio student if you can observe we i have given you the expected words expected explanation in the bracket so while giving the explanation use these tips what i have given you in the bracket right so i have evaluated the alternative plans because in order to achieve the objective i need to select the best plan so i have evaluated it next evaluation will help me to select the best plan so i will select the best plan which have the higher benefit with lower cost so higher benefit and lower cost plan i have selected because at a time i can apply only one plan so next one is implementation of plan in order to implement your plan in order to achieve the goal for that you need to organize the resources now how many types of resources are with the organization basically are of three type first physical financial and human so you have to arrange it you have to organize it to implement your plan right then you have to compare your performance compare with what compare with the planned one planned one is also known with the name standard one so actual performance you need to compare with the planned one known as comparison of performance is that clear next comparison will tell you the deviation now here you have to find out the causes of deviation so deviation means differences why there is differences because there can be due to change in the preference by the consumer so that is why the differences has come so for that you have to find out the causes so causes of devi deviation once you you have come to know the causes of deviation next steps is corrective measure now apply the corrective measure to resolve your deviation to resolve your differences right your performance should be as per the targeted one as per as per the planned one which we have decided earlier so in order to eradicate or to remove the deviation 
one should take corrective measure and last one is follow up follow up means you have to keep on uh, looking at you have to keep on taking a review of your performance it can be annually or it can be weekly it is advisable review also incur certain costs so there should be annual re review of your performance review again will tell you deviations and it will enable you to apply the corrective measure so this way we finish with these steps more or less it is same like the steps in planning process thank you student hope you understand the concept and you will do well during your examination thank you bye bye take care